When a baby is born, how do the doctors, nurses and midwives check that it's healthy? Apart from blood tests and visual inspections, in some countries, the easiest way to check a baby is healthy is to weigh it. A low or high birth weight can raise concerns and possible health problems. In this video, you're going to learn about how, why and when people grow, what a human growth curve is and how growth is measured. When babies are born, their weight, or more correctly mass, in grams, kilograms or sometimes pounds, is measured and recorded. And while babies are small, this is how health professionals track their growth, by regularly weighing them and to check their mass is increasing. If their mass is increasing, then it suggests the baby is growing. Remember growth is one of seven life processes and it involves a permanent increase in a cell number. It involves mitosis, one type of cell division. For more on mitosis, watch this video. When babies are old enough to stand up, their height can be measured. This improves our understanding of their growth. Can you explain why? Pause the video and have a think. An increase in mass could simply indicate an increase in body fat levels, not overall growth. Until the age of puberty, most children grow at a rate of about 5 cm per year. This graph shows human growth rate. Can you tell at what age people grow quicker? Infants grow very quickly, but there is also another time when people grow quickly. Adolescence. Growth rates increase during puberty. This is caused by hormones. The growth spurt in puberty starts at different ages for different people. It continues for one or two years during puberty and may differ for males and females. The onset of puberty in girls can start at around the age of 10. On average, they start their growth spurt between the ages of 10 and 14, about a year before boys. This is the reason why girls are often taller than boys of the same age in early adolescence. The growth spurt in girls is also shorter than in boys. Puberty causes an increase in height and some other physical changes in the body shape. The bones of a girl's pelvis grow wider. This creates a wider canal in the pelvis, which is essential for childbirth. Meanwhile, boys experience their shoulders growing wider. All bones in the human body start off as being made of cartilage. This is why people often say that children bounce when they fall over. Their cartilage is much more flexible than bone. It's less likely to break. Over time, this cartilage slowly ossifies into bone. One part of long bones, called the epiphyseal plate, is the site at which growth continues. Growth is complete when the epiphyseal plate ossifies. So after watching this video, I hope your knowledge of growth has grown. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.